Today, I'm going to share with you the 99 things I own as a minimalist. I take an annual inventory of my things to keep track of them and record them in a visual format. This way, I can see how my possessions evolve over the years. Let's get started with the bags. I currently own five bags. The first bag, my multifunctional backpack, many of you probably already know from my Pack With Me videos. It is the Nest Backpack from Tropic Feel and he accompanies me in every situation, whether for travel, excursions or also to the office. The next bag is actually a compression bag also from Tropic Feel and doubles as a mobile wardrobe. It keeps my clothes compact and organized when I'm on the go. And then this third bag is a clear necessary that I use for travel. I can carry my liquids in it and avoid disposable bags. This necessary is the fourth bag and it's great for storing the rest of my beauty stuff as well as doubling as a clutch for evening events. I bought this fifth bag last year because I wanted a small and chic bag for everyday use. These five bags accompany me in every situation and have really proven themselves for my minimalist lifestyle. Next we go through my tech and office stuff. This includes my phone which is very important to me because I record my videos with it. I also own a Kindle which I use from time to time. But to be honest, I also often read on my cell phone. Especially on vacation, however, the Kindle serves me very well, which is why I continue to keep it. This charging adapter I can use for the cell phone and the laptop, which is very convenient, especially when traveling. The adapter is small, but has enough power and I do not need to carry multiple adapters. I also include my card holder in this category, which my friends gave me about 8 years ago and which has served me very well ever since. After a year of only working on my laptop, I wanted to make my office a little more comfortable last year. Therefore, I now own a monitor and a keyboard and a mouse. On the laptop, I attached this fold-out stand. It's very compact and practical and helps me improve my posture at the computer. By the way, the laptop is not part of my possessions. It's my work laptop, which I am also allowed to use for my private purposes. In order to shoot my videos, I own this little fold-out tripod for my iPhone. It's very old and nearly falling apart, but it still serves me well and I like it too much to replace it. I also bought this microphone last year to record the voiceovers for my videos. In the apartment in Switzerland, I have this ring light for filming because the weather here is often bad and the light is dark. With this ring light, I can produce videos even in the bad weather. The important documents that I cannot digitize, I keep in this folder. My noise cancelling headphones are a real blessing when I want to work on the go or I just want to have some quiet time. They are from the brand Bose and filter out the background really excellently. Lastly, I also assign my earplugs and a pen and my lighter to this category. Okay, let's take a breath. <laughs> we are now at 21 of 99 items. The next category is my household category and it's pretty random. I live in my boyfriend's apartment, therefore here are only things that I bought in addition and not a complete household equipment. The first thing is this clothing rack. Many of my clothes are made of fine material and they are difficult to hang to dry. I can lay out everything on this clothing rack and that makes drying so much easier. My favorite kitchen gadget is this air fryer. It's so easy to prepare meals in it. I can really cook anything in it. I already baked bread, 
roast vegetables, prepare potatoes, even small pizzas I've already prepared in it. Would you like to share my favorite recipes? Be sure to let me know in the comments. My boyfriend had a very old vacuum cleaner that got broken. Instead of buying a new vacuum cleaner, we recently bought this robot vacuum cleaner and OMG, it has changed our life. <laughs> we like our apartment to be clean, of course, but because we are both often in the home office all day, the floors get dusty quickly. The Roborock cleans and washes the floors so cleanly and even though it's not a typical minimalist possession, I can say that I would buy the Roborock again anytime because it just saves us so much time. For cooking, I also own a knife and a wok and a cutting board as well as this blender and those golden cups that make measuring so much easier. To the health category, I have assigned these four items. The meditation cushion, a yoga mat and a towel. I also own two dumbbells because I like to work out with free weights. In my experience, this is much more efficient than training with body weight only. The beauty category includes seven things. My favorite scrunchie. A hair cutting kit because I used to be a hairdresser and I still cut my own hair and the hair of my loved ones. Before I started my minimalist lifestyle, I was an influencer and I received many, many gifts. And one of them was this Dyson Airwrap. I had lent it to a friend during the last two years, but now I have it back and I love using it. If I did not own it already, I would not buy it again because I can also blow dry my hair with a round brush, but because I already have it, I do like to use it. My favorite brush is this one, the Tangle Teaser. But for travel, I also own this comb because it's just easier to carry around. The straightening iron is also still from my time as a hairdresser, in the summer, I like to let my hair air dry. In the winter, I blow dry the hair and then I sometimes form curls with the straightener. And yeah, this way the hair just stays beautiful for three to four days. To remove body hair, I use this epilator. It keeps my skin smooth and it's more sustainable than disposable razors, which I used to use a lot. I have not counted my beauty products in the list here because they are things that I use but not actually own and they also change now and then. But if you want to know which minimalist beauty products I use, I'll link you in the description the video about it. As for the jewelry, I own a watch that I really love and wear every day, then this studs and a crystal bracelet that I both got from my boyfriend's mom and then one small hoop and this beautiful ring that I got from my boyfriend and then also this bracelet that belonged to my grandparents. I used to own more jewelry for fancy events, but honestly I ended up only wearing the pieces I could wear on an everyday basis, so I gave away the rest of the jewelry. Next up are the accessories. My most recent purchase is this beanie from the brand Sundays. My ears tend to get infected in wintertime, so it is important for me to wear a hat. And if I have to wear a hat, I want one that would put me in a good mood. Then I have my sunglasses, my reading glasses, of course, and a cap for the summer, and also these gloves, because unfortunately my hands are always cold. I bought this big scarf years ago, and it's really one of my best companions in winter. I use it as a blanket when meditating, as a scarf, or as an extra layer to cover my kitties. We are a little over half of my possessions and the remaining pieces are my wardrobe. Let's go ahead with my six pair of shoes. I got these boots from my boyfriend's sister 
and I just love them. <laughs> they bring me warm through the winter, but in combination with a dress and tights, they also look good for an evening event like a drink at the bar or something. I also own two pair of sneakers, a lighter one and the black one, as well as Birkenstock sandals and these loafers. Then I own a pair of high heels from Jimmy Choo. <laughs> I got these shoes from my friend and even though I almost never wear it, I like to keep them because it's a timeless piece and probably the only pair of pumps I'll ever own. For the underwear category, we'll start with my pajamas, then of course I own underpants and socks and bras I don't like so much, so I prefer to use padded undershirts and tops. I'm not going to show you in details because I don't want to show my underwear on the internet. And then I own a pair of tights that I have had for well over a year now and fortunately they are still intact. Finally, my two bikinis also belong to this category. The final category are my 29 pieces of clothing. I currently only own one coat, but it's waterproof and keeps me warm in the winter with many layers underneath. I also own a rain jacket, it's a very thin one, so it serves really nice to repel the water, but I can wear it in every temperature. I own five pair of pants, one jeans and then two bright and two more dark trousers. In addition, I own two shorts and then one wrap skirt and then these two dresses. These two tops are great because I can use them as a shirt, bra as well as a sports bra. The remaining clothing items are for sweaters. I have these lilac and rosé ones and then the white one and the black one. And then I also own this hoodie that I love. And then there are three t-shirts. And also a spaghetti strap shirt. And then this long sleeve, a short sweater. And then a shirt, a cardigan, a blazer, and finally this vest. So yeah, these are my 99 things that I currently own. <laughs> what would you have missed in this list? What are the things you couldn't live without? Let me know in the comments and I look forward to see you again soon. Bye!